So, you want to be a shoutcaster for League of Legends. Let me be the first to welcome you to the field. If you're already an experienced shoutcaster, I want you to forget everything you know about shoutcasting. Now, let me be the first to welcome you to the field. I'm your caster Seda, and this is the Caster's Cache. With this video series, I intend to document my journey to becoming an expert shoutcaster, and hopefully others can learn from my experiences as well. Shoutcasting originates from sport casting common to American sports such as football, baseball, and basketball. Originating in 1921, Florent Gibson of the Pittsburgh Star covered a match between Johnny Ray and Johnny Hutch Dundee in Pittsburgh. The advent of esports has carried over this concept of providing live commentary. With this analysis, even an unfamiliar layman could enjoy a professional esports match. The accessibility of the internet has further eliminated the need of a live audience. With this, esports can grow at both the viewer and the broadcaster's own leisure. A shoutcaster is a broadcast personality who provides live narration of a sporting event as it occurs. Essentially, their purpose is to make the broadcast both more exciting and entertaining for the viewer. It means tons of damage. Another fight, tons of damage again. Now this can be done in multiple ways, by adding hype or excitement. Sonia's daydream and follows after the triple kill! The Passing on knowledge or information to the viewer, or even by using humor. How you decide to enhance the broadcast is what defines you as a casting personality. Big name personalities are easily distinguishable from each other because of their unique styles. Husky Starcraft is a veritable hype machine. Freak uses puns and humor, and Rivington III is simply a fantastic play-by-play -play caster, relying on both experience and knowledge to make things more exciting. Similar again to sport casting, shoutcasting has two distinct types of casters, the play-by-play -play caster and the color caster. The play-by-play's purpose is to cover the action and the excitement, often serving as a host for the color caster, whose job is to provide interesting insights and provide relevant personal stories. Together, this tag team keeps the viewer both informed and entertained through the heights of excitement and the pits of inaction. At this point, you've probably got your microphone fired up and you're already loading into a spectator client. Shoutcasting sounds fantastic. Becoming an esports personality, swaying oceans of people with only your voice, and getting paid to talk about video games? It makes you wonder why more people don't shoutcast. And the answer is simple. Tons of people shoutcast. Casters come and go more swiftly than the meta. A meta, or more accurately here, a meta game, is the game beyond the game. Shoutcasting is difficult. It takes dedication, a critical mind, and tough skin. But a truly dedicated shoutcaster, someone who has put in the hours to become a recognizable name, they're the ones who have made the arduous climb to the top of their field. A climb that you and I are starting with this very first video. Think you've got what it takes to be a shoutcaster? Let me know why below the video. And it's just been confirmed. Clicking subscribe will actively increase your CS. Thanks for watching. Cool. How you decide can make easy big defines you as a similar again. Here, hey, can't work. How do I work? Ready, loadinating, loadinating, loadinating.